I did mash. Yeah, I did seven out of the first 13 mashes. All my mashes were done before I, before it ever hit the air. And I got a b very prophetic um, letter from Rob Cohen, who's now a big director, who directed The Fast and the Furious. He's now a huge director, but I think he directed The Fast and the Furious. Look that up before you let that clip go by. And um, he was sort of, you know, a lower level executive at Fox when we started the show, because that was 1972. And I and I've got to find the letter. I know I have it. And it said something like the ending of the letter was, I think we're making history here. And that was before the show ever went on the air. And we did. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I had the biggest crush on Alan Alda. I would just go in there and sit and stare at him. Wayne was great. They both were. They were fun. And I was lucky because I got to work with the two of them, you know, so it was uh, all my stuff was with both of them. There's nobody on earth funnier than Larry Gelbart on his feet. I mean, it's, it's absolutely insane. We would be having trouble making a joke work or something. Larry would come down on the stage and go, what's wrong? And you'd tell him and he'd go, okay, you say that, you say that, you say that, I'm going to my office. Uh, okay. <laughs> and unbelievable, unbelievable. He was absolutely incredible. It was a great, because I was, I was so young. I was like 22 or something when I did it, and I was just in awe. Because you know, I came from Broadway, so it was, you know, funny thing happened on the way to the, Mr. Funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I was in heaven. We shot MASH at, on the studio and at the ranch, yeah, which was a lot like being in Korea, <laughs> being on that ranch, yeah. There were a lot of rats on the set. There was just, it was hard. But you know something, I've read a lot of stuff by the other, uh, you know, the uh, other people in the show, and now, and I'm very close with Mike Farrell now, and, um, and Loretta, and I hear them talking about how bad it was, and I read interviews. I, it was my first big thing here. I was in heaven. You know, when I wasn't working, I was sitting next to the camera watching everybody. I, if there had been a rat, I wouldn't have known it because I was so happy. So, you know, I kept, I kept and it's funny because I've read those interviews, and I think, is it really that bad? I don't remember that. I don't remember it being so bad. So... But I guess it was. Well, I guess when you're young, it doesn't really... Oh, God. And something, you know, that exciting. But who knew? At 22, you don't know anything. You're just working. You're having fun.